Good afternoon, Planet YouTube. It is 4.30pm on Tuesday, the 26th of March, and it is time for Today in My Bujo. How are you? Are you having a good day? My eldest is standing here looking over my shoulder to see how I feel. So all of you can say hello to Kyle, that's K-Y-L-E, in the comments so that he can see it, to know, prove that, you know, you are out there, because I'm having a really bad fucking day. A really bad fucking day but we'll get there in a minute okay let's finish off yesterday now yesterday what the do you know what i'm amazed that i even know what my name is um okay yesterday i i wore makeup i think did i yes i did i wore makeup so we can cross that bit off i did the challenges i think oh, I, i'm gonna go through it all again but if i did then you know if I didn't, then I will do them and they will be coloured in, even though it's in the wrong pen, because it's not today's pen, it's yesterday's pen. But, you know, whatever. That's fine. Okay, All right, so that's makeup challenges. Uh, I had booze and fizzy last night, because, you know, why not? But I didn't have caffeine. What did I have for dinner? Hmm, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, no, we had a takeaway. So I had chips. I did not craft. Uh, I possibly did a word. We'll find out. I will tell you in a moment why I'm a bit scatty. <laughs> You're not going to fucking believe it. You'll find out when we get to the journaling part why I'm a bit scatty. And um, if you're in my Fitbit group, you'll already know. Or in my Fitbit chat, you'll already know. I'm not putting it all over the internet. Um, I say I'm not putting it all over the internet. I'm not putting it all over Facebook. All right, because there are people on Facebook that I don't give a fuck about. Uh, I didn't do a card. <coughs> oh, dear me. Right. I did that last night, so that's fine. Um, I didn't do steps last night. So, my steps are... Um, yeah, I've been printing photos. You're going to see those in a minute as well. My steps for yesterday were 18,181 that's not bad eh so just over 18,000 right I'll fill that in in a minute when I come back and do my sleep um, oh crap I was meant to do the floor last night I forgot mm -hmm. Never mind. Um, I didn't do much of this. I did put the dishwasher on and I did do the worktop and I did sweep the floor, but I forgot to mop the floor. I was so, so tired when I went to bed last night and it must have showed because um, Brittany said, you know, was it Brittany or Gemma? Somebody, and I'm so sorry, girls, um, somebody said they completely understood that sheer exhaustion. It got, it got, it got worse today. Oh, man. Right, okay, pen. Um, is it that one? That's a 0 0.7 or is it 0 0.5? 0 0.5, right, let's do the weather quick. And everything else, and then I will show you what the fuck is going on in my life today. It's been gorgeous today, it really has. It's been another, you know, it says it's been quite cloudy there with a little bit of sun, but. I don't agree with that. It's a sort of half and half, so I'm going to do a bit of a bigger sun and go like that because, you know, it's quite nice. And it'll be 5 tonight, 12 today, although it feels much, much warmer. <gasps> Look at that, 5.55, the bloody sun come up. When did we go below 6 a.m.? Oh, look, 6 a.m., two days ago. And 6.27 is when the sun sets tonight. Wow, dude. There's only going to be one episode of this today. I am not doing the evening one because I plan on it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Could get TV to work. Um, right. So yesterday we did that, and then we did. Okay, look, I mowed the lawn. Yay, I mowed the lawn. Oh, there's sirens going past. Good 
it's a ambulance. Right, so we're moving on to today's pen. Don't know what that means. Then click up in the card. There's a little video will have appeared to, to tell you. Now, and I can tell you right away that the booze and the fizzy drinks thing has gone right out of the window. <laughs> Right, I have one day face cream, I have all makeup, and I am about to do challenges. You can't tell me off because I'm going to do those three at least. I've crafted a little bit, but not 60 minutes worth, so I'm not going to tick that off just yet. I'm not pulling a word because it's already 20 to 5. I'll probably do that tomorrow. No, should I do it now? Uh, I don't do it now. Had the bigger pen. Two seconds. Look at those. <laughs> okay, right. Um, my mood is surprisingly not as bad as it should be for what I'm about to tell you. And I'm not in too much pain either. Um, let's see. What else? Uh, today I have. I've cleaned the loo and I've done the laundry. Now I can be pretty honest and say that's probably all that's going to get done today. Oh, I've got to put the bins out, that'll get done. We've done the weather, that's cool. Uh, we're not in that week, we are in this week. So we went for that. That was an appointment this morning. I haven't done anything else. I must look into this stickable tracker. Right, um, so I've done this page. Hopefully, when you look at that, you'll think of fire. Fire. Doo -doo -doo. Um, my partner needed an x-ray. So I took him for his x-ray today. And on the way back, uh, I'm, I'm driving. I said, what's that smell? So my partner looks all around and he says, that's us. Oh, fuck. So I pulled over. It was just down the road. Pulled over and um, the car starts rapidly filling up with smoke. So I said, we need to get out. So I grabbed my bag and my extremely expensive queen hoodie <laughs> that I got at the Isle of Wight Festival. And... Um, we, we'd, we'd pulled over into the local pub's car park, actually, and the landlord came to the door to complain about my really crap parking and then realised that we were on fire. So he called the fire brigade, and um, they came running out. Before they even got there, my car was in full flames. Now, I did not take a photo of it in full flames, but this was as they were putting the flames out, okay, by the time they'd actually got everything stopped. Okay, so that's them putting the flames out. This... Is the inside of my car totally totally annihilated the inside of my car and that wasn't water damage that is fire damage um, yeah uh, the car is uh, from the outside it looks fine it's the engines fine the engines fine and the boot was fine and we actually had an item in the boot that after all of this, they opened the boot and removed this item. It's a radio controlled car that my partner's selling. Um, and it's got a little bit of smudging on it, and that's it. The engine's fight. The tyres didn't go. All the windows are gone. All the windows blew out. Um, you see that there? That's the tanks outside the pub. How the hell we stopped this from happening, I don't know. We were so lucky. We did evacuate the pub and the residency upstairs. But yeah, this is this is today. This is what happened today. And um, the fire brigade, I, they were there in five minutes flat. It was amazing. They were really, really good. Because by the time they turned up, I, I was I was like this. I could barely stand. Um, but it, it was quite traumatic. It was quite dramatic, you know. Thankfully, it was just my partner and I, and my son wasn't in the car with us because I think that would have put him off for absolute ever. Um, I'm just turning my sprocket off. It was scary, you know. Um, I've already had a drink. <laughs> I came home, I got in the bath because I, I smelled a smoke. We initially thought it was the handbrake because we were trying to lift the bonnet to see where the fire was coming from. 
and the car kept moving. And he said, put the brake on, put the brake on. I said, the brake is on. And he said, well, it, it must be the fucking handbrake that's on fire. And um, I was stood, believe it or not, with my um, my foot inside the car on the foot brake. Um, in, uh, uh, if you're in America, the handbrake in an English car is your parking brake. It's the, the you know, the, the handle. And it's standard practice in England to put on your handbrake or parking brake when exiting the vehicle. And um, so I'm standing there next to my car with the um, with the handbrake on, the parking brake. And um, I turned around at one point and I was like, um, the car is filling up with smoke. And the landlord's saying, uh, I think we need to move away. I think we need to move away. And I said, well, I'm, I'm worried the car might roll back out into the road. And then it got to the point where um, all of a sudden there is, I could see flames inside the vehicle. Now the engine's not on fire and the boot's not on fire. It was actually bang, slap bang in the middle of the, um, the vehicle. And we personally think it might have been the hydraulic suspension that was uh, caught a flame for some reason. And um, we ended up evacuating the pub and the residents upstairs and um, just before the fire brigade turned up. But by the time they turned up, there was six, seven foot high flames. Um, there, there, there was a video. Um, let's see if I can put it up, actually. There was a video and I had, by this point, I was standing in the road to stop the traffic because um, <laughs> my partner's posted it online <laughs> for sale, contact seller for price, slight smoke and water damage. <laughs> He's a dick. Um, it, was, it, it, it was quite scary. You know, the flames were huge. <laughs> Six to eight feet high. And um, we were really worried it would set fire to the pub and all this lot and I, all I could do was get apologising to the pub staff you know I'm so sorry I'm so sorry and they were like no no you know we're just we're just thankful you got out so all I could think was you know thank fuck Daryl was not in the car because you know that would have been terrifying to a four year old I mean he'd have probably loved the fact that the fire engine and that turned up but not the bit before it you know so I thought today's page needed to be painted fire-like to uh, commemorate it. I, don't, I really don't know. I just thought it should be done, really. But um, yeah, I came home and jumped in the bath and had a drink. And uh, yeah, I thought I would get on here now before I get too far gone. And uh, quickly record today while my eldest is distracting my youngest. Bless them. Bless both of them. My eldest came running over to the pub because we all live like within a couple of minutes of the pub, even though none of us frequent it. Um, he came running over to check that we were okay. Um, he was really worried, bless his heart. And uh, yeah, he came up with me to sort of spend the afternoon. I said, I'm just going to go and have a bath because I could, all I can smell is smoke. And fire and oh it's horrible it's very rubbery you know but yeah we reckon it was probably the hydraulics but, which is a real shame but i tell you i i would have one of those cars again definitely within a heartbeat so yeah but today is all going to be black and um, oops there goes my baby monitor it's all going to be black today I think you do as a parent you do have that slight like shit what if the baby had been in the car I mean I know he's four but he would have been in a car seat and it was right underneath him let stick these in it's amazing how shaky you feel after something like this and if you're interested it's a Citroen C5 <laughs> diesel HP, take note, it would be easier if you put a fucking tag on these so that people can actually peel off their stickers, yeah? I'm making it that bloody difficult. I'm going to put it right in the corner. 
and a little bit of a little bit of page to border it and then flatten it right down because the page is a bit warped where I painted it I ended up um, sticking two sheets together because I knew I was going to saturate this one with water and I didn't want to ruin yesterday's little gnome so that feels quite crunchy and hard so yeah the, the photos will walk with the page thankfully now yeah lovely right oh I'm going to write in black on here in my 0.5 I suspect oh I need to do the challenges oh god um Right, 26th is Planetary Nebula. Fucking hell, they're not small ones, are they? And Nebula. <laughs> right, well, I'm just going to write Planetary Nebula because that can count for both of them. I'll put it down here. I love writing on paper that I've painted on. It's just great. It feels so nice. I hope that's right. I hope it's planetary and not planetary. Planetary. Cool. Right. So I'm going to do a little bit of journaling on here in black. Um, and we'll pick up all the colours again tomorrow. Just, yeah, I just really wanted this to show. Because this was, you know, it was a bit of a scare. Um, but the paints I used, it, um, I just pulled out all my paints and I did a wash of yellow. And then I went over it in sort of a couple of different shades of red and orange. And then I got my gold sparkles out and did basically uh, blue gold, red gold, yellow gold and champagne gold all over it. Just to, because fire has that sort of gold effect to it, doesn't it? So there you go. Um, thank you so much for watching. Sorry this is a short one, but you know, I think you can pretty much understand why. I'll be back tomorrow. All right. And it will be a full one and I will catch up on everything that I haven't marked off today. Um... We've only got a few more days and we're back into poppins, which I'm really, really looking forward to. I've missed it. I've missed being in a binder. Um, well, not a ring binder, <laughs> not that fucking ring binder, but I've missed being in poppins um, in a TN. So, yeah, take it easy, guys. Please give this video a thumbs up. I could do with it. Give me some love. Um, if you click the book, you'll be subscribed. If you hit the, note, uh, the bell, YouTube willing, you'll be notified when I upload new content. Leave me a comment or a question, anything like that. Somebody said, and I'm not saying the person's name, that they were worried about leaving too many comments because they didn't want to seem neurotic or, you know, overbearing or silly or anything like that. Um, darling, you know who you are, okay? You leave a comment on every single one of my videos. You go ahead and do that. And if other people don't like it, then other people can stop watching. I don't care. All right. I like you and I consider you as one of my friends. You want to comment on all my videos, you go ahead. OK, I love waking up in the morning and seeing this person has commented on your video. OK, there's a couple of you and you comment religiously and I love it. And when you're in my live, you fucking talk. All right. You type away. You've seen me in other people's lives and you know, like I've said to you, there have been times when YouTube said to me, hey, you're typing too much. Fuck off, YouTube. All right. You come and you talk. All right. You come and talk to me and we have a giggle. You comment on my videos if that's what you want to do. OK, everybody else, you comment on my videos. I want the love. Give me the love. All of the love. Give me, give me, give me. And you will get all of the love back because I love each and every single one of you because you come and you watch me. <laughs> You've made this fun. You guys are the reason I'm doing this every day. OK, Amanda inspired me to do it. You guys are the reason I keep doing it. OK, and to steal her catchphrase, I love your faces. Every single one of you. OK, take it easy, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good day. I'm going to go get drunk. Kisses.